look, the bottom line is, this is not the electric car that they want the Brotherhood to have. This is a Dodge. This is an electric muscle car that will make the rule makers, the suits, and the lawyers wish they hadn't had a kale smoothie for lunch when they launched this thing. What's a kale smoothie? I don't really know, but you don't want one. What you will want is Welcome to the War on Cars. I'm Aaron Napperstack here with my co-hosts, Doug Gordon and Sarah Goodyear. Hello. Hey there. What's up? How's it going? It goes. It's going. <laughs> okay, so as we were preparing for our Cybertruck conversation with Ed Niedermeyer, our very good friends at Stellantis Dodge Corporation dropped this 10-minute YouTube ad for their new line of electric muscle cars. <laughs> And Ed happened to post it on social media, noting that this video is, quote, deeply weird. I will never forgive Ed for posting that. <laughs> I will Now I had, to, I had to see it. Sorry. We all had to watch it. Yep. And in some ways it became, we were just like, why are we even talking about the Cybertruck? Why are we not just talking about this completely crazy Dodge ad? So it is a rich text. It touches on many of the same themes as our whole Cybertruck conversation. So we just thought we wanted to talk to Ed about it and offer it to you, our listeners, as a special bonus just for our Patreon subscribers. We think you will enjoy it very much. So Ed, what was this video and, and why was it so deeply weird to you? So on the one hand, it's important to say this is almost a, a very normal thing in the auto industry. And it wasn't made for YouTube. What happens is when, you know, the Detroit automakers announce a new vehicle, they have an event, they fly journalists there, and they usually have some kind of video like this. And sometimes they, they end up posting it on, on YouTube and sometimes they don't. In this case, they did. For me, this video, again, it's like the Cybertruck. It's this leap into this weird moment that we're in right now and just sort of owning how deeply weird it is. So yeah, it's, it's as you say, a very rich cultural text. And to be clear, this is Dodge, the maker of the big muscle cars, the V8 engines, the gas guzzlers, and now they're they're sort of making electric cars. So this is introducing their muscle electric car. So to set it up, the video starts on the dark and gritty streets of 1910 Detroit. And we have an old-timey newspaper delivery boy, it seems, with a very strange accent that I think is supposed to be a New York accent, but he's he's selling newspapers. Is that how a 1910 Detroit kid would talk? Anyways, here, let's let's just let's roll it. Oh, yeah. So in the video, lightning strikes and a 2024 electric Dodge muscle car appears on the streets of 1910 Detroit. It speeds by a police officer blows the hat off his head, and then the car eventually sort of rolls up to a brick building that turns out to be the Dodge Brothers factory. The car makes truly obnoxious revving noises in front of the Dodge Brothers factory. Uh, we'll talk more about the noises later. And then the Dodge Brothers themselves, Horace and John, appear outside of the factory, wielding heavy wrenches, ready to fight the guy in the uh, futuristic vehicle making the, the obnoxious sounds. But out of the car steps Tim Kuniskis, the current day CEO of Dodge. The Dodge brothers, they're, they're ready to fight him. And here we go. Holy ham tramming. What is that? And who the hell are you? Whoa, whoa, calm down guys. I'm on your side. You can put down those wrenches. I'm on your team. It's okay. Damn, it wasn't easy getting here, and I don't have a lot of time. So here's the deal. You don't realize it yet, but you're at an extremely important decision point in your lives. Do you want to keep working for the system, or do you want to take on the system? Well, I know what we need you to do, and I'm here to make sure you see why. Because we can't afford for you to back down. You're just a couple of incredibly ballsy moves away from ensuring your legacy and making history. And this is your future. I know it sounds crazy, and I swear to you, I haven't been drinking. You're going to want to get in. Let's just say that you brothers created a brotherhood. 
you built something more than a car that made the guys across town mad. You guys made your name on big city streets, back roads with moonshiners, and on the high banks of racetracks across America. Look, the Dodge name became known for standout design and performance. The name Dodge, your name, 100 years from now, has become synonymous with baddest, quickest, fastest. Dodgiest. But right now, we're under attack. Your legacy is under attack. We need your help, spiritually, of course, to fight the system, not to comply, but to compete. Because regardless of what kind of power that propels us, this brand must always be pushed forward by the energy and attitude you guys instilled in us. This next generation charger is proof of that. It's fueled by the Brotherhood, but powered by lithium. The elixir? No, 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 no. We did the car that runs on alcohol. Wow. There's a lot going on there. So, and, and just to, to fill in a little bit of, you know, what's happening here. So I think you guys, you've done episodes sort of talking about Dodge advertising before. It's notoriously the most sort of aggressive old school car culture kind of representation in, in, in automotive advertising. And essentially what, what's happening here is that, you know, Dodge is announcing a new charger. It has an electric version, but it also has a, a gas powered version. The, the detail that people might be missing here that is really crucial to understanding this video is that the gas powered version no longer You can listen to the rest of this conversation by joining the War on Cars as a Patreon subscriber. Go to thewaroncars.org, click support us, pitch in three, five, or $10 per month. We'll send you stickers. You'll have access to ad-free episodes and bonus conversations like this one. We really appreciate the support. We couldn't produce the podcast without you.